This kid has done nothing but eat all day. She's now eating anana na 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 na. For her regular non crazy people. Hi Anana. Anana. Abakashi. Oh, you stop. Oh. I was eating that. <laughs>so surprised I've been able to get as much done as I have she went down for a nap around 11 it's now 12 I've done all of the mirrors in the house I cleaned up our entire room cleaned the bathroom deep cleaned the baseboards it's beautiful um and now I'm gonna make chicken quesadillas with our low-carb tortillas and wait for her to wake up and play with her all right, chicken going in the pan. Butter, chicken going in the pan. I'm not gonna make this a cooking show again. I feel like I'm just constantly filming myself cook. It's not that interesting. You can see the finished product now. <laughs> there she is. 12 carbs, 12 tortillas. Not bad. Gotta tuck her in. She's sleeping. That was quite the nap you took. Okay. Yeah. It's lunchtime now though, okay? 
Ja, ja, ja. I feel like we do the shot every single time she comes downstairs. Bye, let's go. Got your bib on you. Get your feet down. Sit in your chair. Little baby clown. Nice. Enjoy. Carp first. So she had a plate. Oh my god. She is run. Chug, 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 chug. Chug, chug, chug. Please throw a teacher a child, chug. So she had a full plate of food in front of her, like you saw, and immediately threw it. Like, threw it. All the food is now gone because Abby already ate it. We'll be at backup broccoli tots. Backup broccoli tots. We still have some tortillas, obviously. There's no chicken now, which is sad. But she has other stuff, so. She ate one piece of chicken and now she has two. <laughs> Where did the broccoli come from? <laughs> <laughs> she ate a piece of chicken and broccoli came out. No, you said yum. She said ugh. She can't say ugh. You know why? Because she's never had a real piece of, or a real tater tot, so she has no idea what the standard of tater tots is. Well, but she's gonna be very surprised when she finally gets one. Uh oh. Uh oh. One nap. Uh oh. Hi, sideways baby. Okay, go and see this so you know what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm about to say. So, there's this video of this little girl and she's trying to say ice cream. She's probably like one or two. <clears throat> and she can say ice and she can say cream. But every time she tries to say ice cream, she goes, Cantano! <laughs> and I cried laughing the other night. I've seen it before, but I don't know why the other night it was just funnier to me. I started crying laughing. And now Daniel and I just keep looking at each other going, Cantano! So, story time. Sorry if the vlog's been a little barren today. Daniel and I have kind of been dealing with a crisis um, that I'm sure a lot of families have been going through in the United States um, and it has to do with our health care. Daniel's employer switched providers and in the situation that we're in with the three of us, it would be nearly half of all our family income just to keep us on health insurance. So um, we're kind of scrambling to see if there are any options for us and we've called a bunch of insurance companies to get private insurance that we could just pay for and it's really not an option either so it's really stressful and it would have been one thing if it was just daniel and i alone because you know if we had to pay fines or just find any old health care plan to cover us in case of an emergency we could do it but now this one's here and we need to make sure she gets the best care available so that she's always healthy and it just adds like another layer of stress um, we're gonna figure it out and we're all gonna be okay no matter what but unfortunately it could really like you know affect a lot of stuff if we're paying a lot of money for our health insurance. So, some days are gonna be like this, but yeah.
And we're gonna keep looking, trying to find a way to make it work for us, right? Right. Someone's been a little cranky this afternoon, so we started to lighten things up. Or we tried to lighten things up with some jello. It's sugar free, of course. But she likes the texture of it. I took her onesie off because it was white and I just didn't want to deal with stain remover today. <laughs> so, after about two, two and a half, almost three hours of talking and researching and calls and things like that, I think Daniel and I have figured it out and we won't be uninsured. It will be around the same price and we just have to do a little bit of fancy footwork and we may have to change doctors, but. That's all right, as long as everyone's taken care of, we're all good. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight because I have like a bunch of stuff in the fridge, but I may just have to be a little more creative than usual because I didn't wanna buy too many groceries last night um, because we do have like such a big weekend coming up so there's really no need in like having like a huge stockpile of stuff in there. I'll see what I can come up with. The quesadillas today were so fuego though. Like, oh, they were so good. She's loving life right now. I think sometimes like when like parents have like a rough afternoon, I almost feel like she senses our vibe, you know, like our, like our onda, like she gets it and she catches like the wave that we're on and you know, she gets a little frustrated herself. So I, I try my very best to keep things light and not frustrating because, you know, life is full of those types of moments and you just have to take them and go with the flow and keep moving. And that's what we've done. And it seems like everything's gonna work out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm making a sauce for some chicken. And I like to sing the song Tighten Up by the Black Keys to my sauce, so it tightens up. So it's been a lot of fun so far. I am dreadfully boring today, but it's been an incredibly stressful afternoon. Super stressful. I have to work late now because, because of the insurance stress, which we finally got solved, although she told you we got solved. Well, Mostly solved. We have a plan. Yeah, we have a plan. But everyone's now, gonna be okay. But now I have to work super late because I spent most of my time worrying about this. And then on top of everything that's going on, you know, we are still kind of like reorganizing the house and. I still have like multiple DIY projects to fit. Yeah. And tomorrow is like the busiest day of the week for me, so I have no time to do it then. Tomorrow's garbage day. You got a busy day. Um, I need to probably clean out the garage. Maybe I'll do that by myself oh, God, tomorrow. Oh, the garage. I forgot about the garage. Yeah, I may put the pack and play out there and let her play while I do the garage tomorrow. I'll help you out. I'll um, Thursday. And, yeah, like, because people are coming in on Friday, I can't really plan anything that afternoon. I'm also making her birthday cake on Friday, so... We are just jam-packed full. Fresh mozzarella for the princess. But she's also gonna have some of this. Just green beans, chicken, bacon, with a little sauce from the pan that I made. It's very pretty, very colorful. Very pretty, very colorful, very nice. So we're gonna get started. Hello again. We are now in bed. Sorry today wasn't the most entertaining of days. I will say it was one of the most stressful days I've had in a long time. Um, but we're going to end it here. Because I think if we showed you anything else, it would be weird just to watch us sleep. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.